today we are diving into a topic that's been buzzing around for quite some time now, whole body MRI. If you've seen the ads or read the headlines, you might be thinking about whether a whole body MRI is something you should consider for yourself. It promises to give you a detailed snapshot of your entire body, essentially a comprehensive health checkup. But are they actually worth it? Let's break down the pros and cons and help you decide if it's the right move for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jazz and I'm an Australian trained radiologist. So first things first, what exactly is a whole body MRI? Well, it's a type of magnetic resonance imaging that scans your entire body to look for potential issues. Unlike the traditional MRI that focuses on one specific and targeted area, say your knee or your brain, a whole body MRI takes detailed images of your organs, soft tissues, joints, and even bones from head to toe. As a radiologist, I can tell you that MRIs are incredibly powerful tools. They use strong magnets and radio waves to produce detailed images of the inside of your body without any harmful radiation. That's why they're so valuable when it comes to diagnosing things like various tumors, spinal issues, joint problems, and soft tissue injuries. So a whole body MRI seems like it would be the ultimate checkup, right? You can get a complete overview of your health in one go. So who exactly is lining up to get a whole body MRI and why? The idea behind a whole body MRI is that it can detect potential health problems before they become symptomatic. Some people get them for a peace of mind, especially if they're looking to be proactive about their health. You've probably seen ads for private clinics offering whole body MRIs for people of all ages, claiming to spot everything from cancer to heart disease. Some people go for this kind of scan to check for things like early signs of cancer, heart disease, or even to identify minor issues that might not show symptoms yet, like disc degeneration or small vascular changes. And hey, it sounds pretty appealing. Who wouldn't want to catch health problems early, right? There are definitely some positives when it comes to whole body MRIs. Number one, early detection. If you're at risk for certain conditions, say you have a genetic predisposition for a certain type of cancer, a whole body MRI might help you catch potential issues early, even before symptoms show up. Detecting something early can make a world of difference in treatment outcomes, but also be mindful that MRI sometimes isn't the best modality to assess all organs. Say for example, if you had a small polyp in your bowel, it might not be well seen on the MRI. Number two, non-invasive and safe. Unlike other forms of diagnostic testing, MRIs don't use radiation, making them a safer option compared to other things like CT scans or x-rays. The procedure is non-invasive, so there's no need for cuts or needles. However, if you opt for the option which uses IV contrast, then naturally there will be a needle for the drip for that. Number three, comprehensive overview. A whole body MRI provides a broad look at your body, meaning you could potentially spot multiple issues at once, from tumor signs to joint wear to vascular problems. And for those of us who love a good data-driven approach, this could give you an idea of things you may never have noticed before. It's like getting a full report card on your health, which can be a huge motivator for making healthier lifestyle choices. But before you rush out to schedule one, let's talk about the other side of the story. Now let's take a step back. While there are some clear advantages, there are also a few significant downsides for whole body MRIs. Number one, false positives. One of the biggest issues with whole body MRIs is the risk of false positives. MRIs can sometimes pick up things that aren't actually problematic. You might find a tiny spot of signal abnormality that looks concerning on the scan, but it's actually nothing to worry about. That could lead to unnecessary follow-up tests, biopsies, or treatments, all of which can be stressful, invasive, and expensive. Number two, the cost of whole body MRIs can be pricey, and here in Australia, they're not often covered by Medicare. So a lot of companies will be charging you a minimum of 3,000 Australian dollars out of pocket for a scan that may not even reveal anything wrong. Number three, unnecessary anxiety. Sometimes finding something on a scan that looks like it might be a problem can create a lot of unnecessary anxiety, especially if you're not sure whether it's something that requires immediate attention or whether it's of any significance at all. The truth is many findings might be benign or slow growing, but that knowledge can be hard to come by without more testing. And as a radiologist, I can tell you that we have to be cautious about over-interpreting scans. A whole body MRI could uncover something that leads to a chain of unnecessary tests and treatments, all of which can cause more harm than good. So now the big question, should you get a whole body MRI? The answer depends on several factors. If you have a family history of certain conditions 
conditions like cancer, cardiovascular disease, or neurological disorders, a whole body MRI might be a good idea as part of a proactive health strategy. In that case, you want to consult with your doctor who can guide you based on your personal medical history and risk factors, remembering that there are always targeted scans that can be performed based on your medical history. Also, if you're experiencing unexplained symptoms that are difficult to diagnose, a whole body MRI might help provide some clarity for certain body regions, but that is not guaranteed. However, if you're generally healthy and don't have any concerning symptoms or risk factors, you might want to weigh the potential benefits against the costs and the anxiety that can come with such a scan. And as I said before, always discuss this with your doctor. If you're thinking about a whole body MRI, it's important to remember that there are other screening and diagnostic methods that may be more appropriate for your situation. Blood tests, regular checkups with your GP and targeted imaging like an MRI of a specific area or even a CT scan can provide valuable insights into your health. And if you're not sure, always start with a discussion with your GP or specialist. They'll help guide you toward the best and most cost-effective diagnostic approach for your needs. So to sum up, a whole body MRI can be a great tool for detecting potential health issues early, but it is not without its own risks, from false positives to unnecessary anxiety and high costs. Before you book that appointment, make sure you've weighed the pros and the cons and spoken with a healthcare provider about whether it's truly the right choice for you. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.